All right, so we got to go talk to Popola. Five years later, will she look exactly the same? The library, of course, had been destroyed during our fight. So I'm curious, has anything changed in the library here? I guess we're about to find out. You know what's also curious is I wonder now, that weapon that I was saving up for, is there even a purpose to get it now, right? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, well, that's a cutscene. I want to see what's the strength or damage of it, because what's the point of buying the new weapon if it's not even good anymore, right? So look at this. Kaine is still petrified in the wall five years later. The boss apparently could never escape from the basement. <laughs> okay, then. What if I attack it? Very exciting. Um, <clears throat> Let's see here. Weapons. You can't... Oh, here we go. So the, the sword I'm currently using here is... 147, but it's very light, meaning it's fast. This is, uh, 295. And then this is 221. Okay. Interesting. I don't, I still don't know if it's viable to buy that other sword then or not. <clears throat> to see. All right, here we are. <laughs> Look at you. I think you've grown even taller. <laughs> yeah? That's hard for me to tell anymore. But you haven't changed a bit, Popola. What's your secret? Oh, I'm an android. Oh, I mean, uh, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, I've already had my growth. <laughs> no, I wonder if she really is an android. I guess we're gonna find out. I see your flattery skills are improving as well. No, it's true. You look the same as the day I first met you. Uh, I think she is an android. Okay, now you're just embarrassing me. Anyway, here. This is from Emil. It's me, Emil. Sorry I've been quiet for so long. Are you and Weiss getting along all right? Is he still using big words and making everyone feel dumb? I bet he is. I recently stumbled upon some records that might help us in curing Kaine's petrification. Would you mind coming here to take a look? Thanks, I'll be waiting. All right, it sounds like we're going to go to the manor. Back to the manor, right? Well, okay. well. Perhaps the time has come to save Kaine. <laughs> I take it this means you'll be leaving the village. Sorry. I know the shades have been rough lately. It's okay. Go. Just be careful. So you know, since now we're in a totally new section of the game... Ah! All those quests disappeared except for the Fisherman's Gambit. Every other side quest disappeared. It basically reset everything. Yeah, here you go. See, it's saying now you cannot complete these particular quests. Okay. I'm, sh I'm sure if you did them all, you probably get rewarded. It's probably like a... Uh... Oops. I mean to do that. Probably some kind of like a trophy or something for doing it, right? Um, Snow Carl's took me a dollar thirty. Says I know I lost the pride of my Twitch account, my VIP badge, but I think OIC deserves to get one for his incredible long-term support for the channel. Don't you agree? Uh, no, as I said when we were trying that out and we figured out exactly what it was and everything, I decided against using it. Um, number one, I don't want. Oh shit! Who is this? Some random guy. Number one, I don't want anyone to feel like they're getting preferential treatment or be upset that someone's getting preferential treatment. But in addition to that, you know, we were discussing maybe doing it as something as a reward for Patreon. Like, oh, someone pledges a certain amount to my Patreon, they become a VIP. Apparently, you can't do that. Apparently, that's against Twitch's terms of service. So, I'm not going to be doing anything with it. VIP, nah, not going to use it. So. I decided a long time ago that Popola was too important and beautiful to worry about shades and the like. That's why I dedicated my life to protecting her. She trusts me to keep the library secure. So maybe someday she'll trust me with, uh, other things. Arr. No! Stop that, you disgusting pervert. What the fuck was that? What the? <laughs> what the course, fuck was that? Than no hope at all, I suppose. Come on, man! That was ridiculously stupid. Why the fuck was that line even in the game? No! 
No one cares about that stupid shit, you idiot. <laughs> oh my god. The dog, is a dog still here? Oh my god. Why was that in the game? <laughs> what the? Talk about out of place. Oh, there's a side quest over here. Oh man, I'm in a heap of trouble now. <laughs> What's the problem? Well, I was distracted while I was cooking and sort of started a fire. What? Now I have to repair the kitchen and all my equipment. Can't make the repairs without a bunch of parts. Oh, God. The only place you can find that much scrap is in the junk heap. Yeah, that's bad news, all right. Want me to go for you? You sure? You'll have to bring a whole bunch of robots and take it from them, so it ain't exactly safe. I mean, I might already have the parts. Contract for the contractor. Okay. All the more reason to entrust the task to us. This won't be our first time in the junk heap. Just let us know what you need. Thanks. I really appreciate this. I need one memory alloy, ten titanium alloys, and ten broken no. motors. I don't have the titanium alloys, that. remember? Those are the things I needed to upgrade my weapons, and it wasn't dropping wow. them. That's a lot. But okay, we'll be back in a while. Yeah, I don't have it because I need the titanium alloys. I, need... I don't. I don't have them. I know I have the motors probably, but not the titanium alloys. Oh, uh, the Smasher Fifty Five. To me, five dollars said ignore the drama. Your streams help me chill. Thank you very much. And yes, you're exactly right. I, I don't pay uh, much, if any, attention to the bullshit. I'm here to chill and have fun with a fun game, and this has been a really good game uh, to chill with recently. The plot today got pretty zany and uh, crazy, but it's been entertaining. So I'm looking forward to more. No drama balonies. Oh, there's all kinds of side missions here now. Let's take a look at these. What are these? Hey, you haven't seen any thieves around, have you? A bunch of sticky-fingered bastards keep taking my merchandise. No, first I've heard of it. What am I having for dinner? I don't know, King Michael. We don't, actually, I don't know what we're having for dinner today. Fred Flintstone resubbed, but you can't. You cannot resub. There is no sub because I'm not part of this partnership program for a week now, yet somehow people are still able to resub, which is hilarious because I'm not getting anything from that. Fred Flintstone, if you still support me, please tip me or you can pledge to my Patreon. You can't sub anymore. Thank you, though. Okay. They don't take a lot, but when they strike, mm. it's always food. And in some ways, that's our most precious commodity. Okay, except the quest. Thieves in training. Maybe I can help. Well, I'd certainly appreciate it. Do you have a plan? Or are we going to walk up to every person we see and shake them until stolen vegetables fall from their pockets? Let's try asking around the village. Thieves in the village. Can't believe it. One could call it a sign of the times. <laughs> Rare is the man who steals out of choice as okay. opposed to need. Thank you, King Michael. He says I'm doing a great job. You've been dealing with a wave of robberies lately. Better keep a close eye on your purse. Wow. Only Ask Coffee says I prepaid a six month tier three sub Twitch that hasn't refunded me. So I'm ended up getting sub messages for a few more months. That's meant that's honestly that's kind of messed up. Because now you don't get any of the benefits of the sub, right? That it's one thing to punish the streamer. It's another thing entirely to punish the viewer. Like how messed up is that? They're just gonna keep your money. I, this is ridiculous. This whole situation is is over the top ridiculous, and Twitch does own explanation. And they say like they have no responsibility. It's pretty messed up, isn't it? Pretty messed up that corporations just think that they can just control your life like that, right? Yeah, it's real nice of them. Anyway. So nothing there, right? We've been deep. Yeah. Ah, just the person I wanted to see. Do you have a moment? What's up? Our water wheel is on its last legs. I'd like to shore it up, but the job is a little beyond my skill set. This is a wise thought on your part. That wheel is a machine of not insignificant age. Better to repair it now than wait until it fails completely. I suppose we'd all be in trouble if it broke. So what do we need? Replacing the axle and the paddle boards should suffice for now. I believe the strange thing store in Facade should have everything we oh, need. Oh, now we're gonna go to Facade. Oh my god. Alright. Thank you. And so, I, w I wonder, can we fast travel? We're gonna have to go down to, the, to that boat and see if we can fast travel. Hopefully. 
I hear it's two thieves working as a team. Two thieves working as a team, he says. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, only I was coughing. The, 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 I, I, I agree with you on that. He says... Oh, yeah. God, he's coughing. Yeah, nice. I'm good. Your health is diminished. Do be more careful next time. Hmm? Only as Coffee says he thinks he's going to get more out of a patron pledge anyway than he did out of the sub. I mean, yeah, I mean, the only thing you basically got as the sub, let's be honest, was the emotes. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'll probably, over the course of May, try to figure out how to integrate better Twitch TV and see if we can get some of those emotes for everyone anyway. Um, <clears throat> but outside of that, the sub was always just a way to support me rather than you getting major benefits out of it. You know what I mean? Um, but with Patreon, now you're going to get priority questions every month on Ask the King. You're going to get private Q&A videos if you pledge that much. You know what I mean? Like, there's benefit to doing it for sure that you didn't get just for subbing. A so. robbery? Hmm. Come to think of it, I did catch a glimpse of a pint-sized fellow moving suspiciously through the shadows. Ah. Maybe he was involved? Judging by what we found... We're dealing with two thieves. Most likely a couple of kids. Okay. Remember the pair of brothers that loiter near the water wheel? I fear they may be hiding something from us. Let's go have us a little chat. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Only ask coffee, they're never he says he had he had, you know, subbed at tier three when he could because he wanted to help more and he knew he wasn't really getting much extra out of it. And you're right, there really is like almost no extra benefit at all. To doing the tier two or tier three subs they just never really twitch never really implemented anything to make it better you know what i mean so yeah thank you for and you know he says he's gonna be one of the people who's gonna convert over to a patron pledge uh coming up once may hits so where is this water wheel the back oh there it is aha uh -huh. are you two the ones behind the recent robberies haha uh -huh. you must already know if you're asking like that your tone betrays your guilt confess confess now lest the rage of grimoire vice fall upon you the okay we did it. My brother and me. Why? Because Dad told us to. Your own father demanded that you steal. He's evil. This guy sounds like a real piece of work. Where is he now? Probably in the tavern. That's where he spends all his time. Wow. Got it. What's funny is people are talking about me saying I have a receding hairline. My hairline actually, to my knowledge, isn't receding. It's just really bad. Like, my hairline's always been pretty bad. Even if you go back to my videos from, like, 10 years ago when I had short hair, you could see the hairline was still bad. It's just that ever since I grew out the hair, now it's way more apparent that the hairline is bad. When I was a kid, my mom used to, to comb my hair to one side, like a side part. And because she used to do that, that's where it got fucked up. Like, the hairline's always had a split right there where I had a part whenever I was a kid. It wasn't until high school that I actually started, uh having just like a crew cut but i feel that those years you know a good a good 16 years of my life where my hair was done one certain way kind of screwed with my, my hair, hairline and my scalp and everything so all right um the tavern right wherever the tavern is right over here here it is we're gonna beat up their dad in the middle of the tavern no, but I'm well aware my hair isn't great, and you know, eventually I might have to do something with it or not. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have no idea. Hey, you have a pair of sons, huh? What, what's it to you, huh? No. Why you gotta ask me all these questions? He's drunk. You're forcing your own kids to commit crimes? Crimes? No, no, it's it's not like that. I just, I just told him to go find some food for the family. So uh... now shut your mouth before I. Before I shut it for you, bunch of no good meddlers. Uh, our time is wasted on this drunken scoundrel. What an ass. 
Hello to GPR Triple X. How you doing? What a sad excuse for a father. How shall we explain this to the client? We'll tell him the truth. Then we'll figure out what to do with the kids. Only actual penguins say some people lose all their hair before they're 20. You're doing fine. I mean, you're absolutely right. My, my, uh, my uncle, one of my uncles on my mom's side lost his hair by the time he was like 25. He was completely bald. Nothing he could do about it. Hmm. What have we got today? Which job should I give you first? We've got new side missions. Let's do Masterless Lighthouse. We know that's going to be down in the shoreline, right? Got a job from Seafront if you aren't too busy. It's a guy looking for something. Look, just go ask him, all right? I wrote okay. down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. Yep, of course we know where it is. We've been there before. Okay. All right, so... I don't think I can reach it, can I? No, there's an invisible wall. What the hell? They put an invisible wall there for some reason. Okay. I must say, I'm rather surprised you didn't bother to learn how to swim these past five years. <laughs> I can't swim. My, uh, <coughs> my weapon is just heavy. <laughs> Whatever you say, lad. <laughs> Fluttershy, yeah, of course, when I was a kid, my mom always combed my hair and did my hair before I went to school. That was always, you know, until, like I said, until high school when I decided I wanted short did hair. Did you find the culprit? Yeah, but it's complicated. A pair of children driven to steal by an abusive father? Well, I certainly didn't expect this. They shouldn't have stolen from you, but I don't think they're entirely at fault here. Agreed. I'll talk to the other shopkeepers and make sure they understand. Okay. Thanks. Oh, and I also think we should get them away from their father. Not sure who could take them. Folks are barely getting by as it is. But let me spread the word and see what we can figure out. Ah, yes, your fee. Well, us shop owners passed the hat and came up with this. I hope it's enough. 3,000 gold. Using children as tools of thievery. Unthinkable. I can't believe this happened in our village. Things are more desperate than I knew. If we hope to restore the lives of the villagers, we must cull as many shades as we can. Yeah. Can well, I buy this weapon now, or do they change weapons? Oh, they changed them, all right. Look. So I could still buy the Beast Bane, right? But it's no... I don't think it's good. I think this was... A, that was for the first half of the game. The Axe of Beheading? This is what I should be saving for. Look at that. Yeah. Absolutely. I should be saving up for these two weapons, so I'm not going to spend money now. I saved, I saved the whole Flex time. I never, never had enough to buy the weapon when it would be effective. Okay. Um. So before we continue on with the quest, which is... The alloys and the water wheel. Yeah, I gotta go to Facade Strange Thing Store to repair the water wheel, right? Okay. I wanna see, can I fast travel? I mean, if not, what was the point of doing all that mission earlier in the game? If they're not gonna let you fast travel, right? No? You gotta be kidding me. I can fish. Yeah, I can fish, but that's it. I can't fast travel. Oh, come on. Well, this is a bunch of bullshit if I ever seen any. We still gotta walk. Oh my God. Curse <laughs> these tired old bones. Good Lord. Oy, oy, oy. Whenever I read a letter from DSP, I feel like I need to see him again. Who's writing that? Because Yona's gone, so who wrote that? Whoa, he's a multi stab. Yeah. 
spear's pretty interesting. I like the attack pattern of it. The big guy's gone now. The big guy doesn't spawn anymore. Well, I killed him a million times, so... These little guys spawn. Alright, we're supposed to be heading to the manor, right? Isn't that where we're going? The manor? I think so. There's a lot of these assholes. Whoa. Oh, I like that. Let's switch up. We're back. Welcome, sirs. Master Emil is waiting in his chambers. Yes. You'll have to wait for him to finish his game of Fortnite. Oh, hey there, guys. Hey, Emil. It's been a while. And, uh... Wait a minute. A day. He didn't age a day either? Does that mean he's an android? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sort of special that way. Remember, he's supposed to be like a, an infinite weapon. Like, he never... he He's supposed to be like... The weapon to to fight to save mankind and shit. So maybe he is a, he's a robot or something. I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Fair enough. <laughs> anyway, I hear you found a lead on undoing the petrification curse. Yes. Take a look at this. Plan Snow White, archival storage, eight two twenty twenty six. Following the recent incident from number six, we have decided to establish an archival room. This room will hold records on the methods used to control or cancel all forms of magic, including petrification and bestial transformation, as well as all other projects to move forward. Specifically, this should make it easier to complete long-term storage. Uh, let's see here. Solution for number six, as well as proceed with our work on number seven. All employees are required to keep the courtyard entrance to this new room secure. Failure to do so is considered grounds for immediate termination. There's a section of this manor called the planning room, and I think... Hmm. You think this room will let you harness the ability to control all forms of magic, correct? Actually, yeah. Or even if it doesn't, something there might point us in the right direction. So where is this planning room? There's hmm. an entrance in the courtyard. It's not far. Good. Let's go find it. Ah, the Mellow Companion. Emil joined your party. Ooh, so he's your he's your companion now. Cool. Someone's asking would I ever shave off my beard. I I like having a beard, and so my wife likes my beard. So no. Magic. I can use it to cure my eyes. If we could. Hmm. Heal both Emil and Kaine at once. It would be quite an achievement. Two birds with one, um, stone, as they say. Wow, Vice. I didn't think you cared. He does it. Perhaps this tone is getting a bit sappy in his old age. I'm curious if they added any new items or anything to the mansion, right? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. This is still happening five years later? What? Uh. Emilio, you might want to, like, move out. <laughs> I think this place is kind of haunted. Blood coming out of your sink, dude. There's nothing in any of these rooms. If Cat wanted me to change my style, then I would consider it, yes. <clears throat> if my wife ever desired that, then yes, but outside of that, no. There's nothing in any of these fucking rooms. Look, nothing. What's the point of this? Why even let me in? Maybe this is the way? That's the courtyard, right? Yeah. Oh, what? These paintings went back to normal. Look. The paintings reverted back to normal. They're not demons anymore. <laughs> That's silly. It's 
shit. Be right around here somewhere. Right here. Is this it? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. A secret room. Morning. This facility is full of zombies. I can't read the rest. Something about a seal? If someone bothered to attach a warning to this room, I doubt they will appreciate us forcing our way inside. Uh. Emil, <laughs> you okay? What's wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. I'm fine. Okay. Something is amiss with Emil. Take care not to stray too far. <laughs> Hmm. Right. A A A key card. I don't know why we're in a top-down view now. It's like an underground barracks or something, right? Stabby, stabby. Very nice. <laughs> Little office rooms or something on the side. Spin a Rooney. Ula, armor break plus four. K A Hikar. Stab. I like the spear. I'm probably gonna keep using it. Very good. Okay. Medicinal air. Use petrifying them before I can kill them. Oh, there's a hidden room over there? There is. There we go. We got a hidden room here. Look at that. Get over here, you know. What are you doing? <laughs> Get over here. Two-handed sword, the fang of the twins? Let's see if this is any good. Fang of the twins is better. Yeah, it is. Okay. Try this thing. It's a giant sword. Fang of the Twins. <clears throat> nice. Can't really tell what the hell's going on. It's all so small now. And the, the, the camera angle is so weird. Can't really tell what's going on, but it's fine, I guess. Damn, slaughtered. Oh boy.
Can't really see anything, but I'll just smash buttons, I guess. <laughs> Can't see a damn thing. What is that? What's this? A scrap of paper. Hmm. Tribe has sent me two dollars sixty cents. He said, "Shout out to Only Eyes Coffee." Indeed, shout out to Only Eyes Coffee. Very nice. Hello, Fire Fist Fury. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. Oops. It's more at 135, not 153. My bad. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this. 2025, we've completed the initial research into number six and are ready to initiate a startup experiment in the coming days. This will likely, likely mark a great leap toward the Gestalt research. The National Weapon Research Facility has made completion of the number six project as top priority. Budgets, all of the projects have to be frozen effective immediately. Hmm. All right. It would appear this used to be some manner of magical research facility. This must have been where I was. <sighs> Mia. I'll, I'll be okay. We need to keep going. Sorry for the trouble. Hmm. He's some kind of a crazy experiment. That's why he's immortal. Why he never ages? Uses a lot. Okay, spot a lot of herbs to heal there. Hello, Carmen T. How are you? The TA key card. Knocked them all on their asses. Nice. <clears throat> hmm. It's a maze. Confusing. There's nothing over here. Did he just teleport? <laughs> I think email just teleported. So you know what's weird? Remember in the original uh, in Nier Automata that the gameplay changes up in your second run? I wonder if this is a different gameplay changes only in your first run, right? Like, I'm surprised that there's actually so much variety in the gameplay. There was the, the text-based puzzles. And now there's top-down combat. Pretty interesting. I need an NA key card. It's probably right here. Yep. What's that? Thick dictionary. I don't know what the hell you do with these. All these items I've been getting like that. Oh crap. Ooh, Mario. Is it drop rate is 12%, I think it said? I guess I should take a look at everything then. Yeah, Ma Mahira. Okay. Is 
There we go. Very good. Continuing on. I wonder if between today and, and one more major stream of this tomorrow, if I'll be beat the first run. Oh, crap, where is he? He's right there. Relax. Freaking out for no reason. <laughs> he teleports. See that? Petrified them both. Okay. Nothing there? I thought maybe the key card was there. Sir Spartan King. How are you doing today? The Villain X reached over 24 months. Sorry, Villain X, that in reality you never really reached your two year anniversary. That really does suck. Because it's really cool that some people stuck with me for so long and wanted to celebrate those anniversaries and now they can't. Because of Twitch's incredibly poor decision making. So it is what it is. But, uh, thank you for what would have been a two year resub. Sucks, doesn't it? Hopefully, you will come along with me to Patreon. Uh, since the sub doesn't count anymore. Nice, flatten them all. Coolies is my longest sub. It's likely Super Blind Man, who I believe just recently was like 79 or 80 months. Sucks now, because now the streak ends. That's something pretty, pretty significant and momentous, and now it's all gone. You know? Whoa, what's this? Tubes. Nothing in the tubes, though, right? Huh. Where is he? More tubes. Can't break them. So, herb. Well, these are the guys who they're immune to the magic. Just gotta beat them down physically. An item. Ah, the new key card. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. So yes, Villain X, I hope you will you'll follow me over to Patreon and pledge there to replace the sub that you had for almost two years. And also remember you can support me by tipping me, and I do still need to try to hit the tips goal today. I got about a half an hour left on the stream, guys. And we are at 135 out of the 200 dollars Please, if you can, support the stream and tip so we can hit that goal. Thank you. Alright. Nice. La 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 la. Oh, this guy's a jerk. <laughs> Come on! Die! Gebby, magic power plus 15%. We're getting much higher words now, right? Yeah, look at that. Gebbil. What the fuck? There we go. Some of these I've never used. Like, I never used Dark Gluttony or Dark Wall at all. <laughs> okay. A guy stuck behind a box. Nice. The meal is 
falling behind. Oh, come on. Where is he? M.A. He's back here. What's he doing back here? Get your butt up here. I wonder how long this segment is. Am I considering any higher tiers to Patreon? Possibly. Basically, over May, we have to talk about it and brainstorm together. And figure out exactly what we could do with Patreon and what people would be considering and what I'd be interested in, so... No, JPR Triple X, they didn't tell me why the partnership was revoked. I never will. It's been a week now. If they were going to, they would have already. They don't wait a week to fucking respond. They just don't care. I told you, likely what it is, it's something that if it was revealed, that they feel that it would have a negative impact on other people. So likely it's probably, oh, so many people were trolling me. They just didn't want to deal with the fucking fake reporting anymore. So they just said, oh, forget it. Kick them out of the program. And they don't want people to know that fake reporting could be effective. So they're not going to say anything. Because if it were something I did, they would have said something. The YA key card. Okay. Whoa! He's done. All right, guard break plus 10, Varu. All right. Yeah, I know. JPR says, I wish that they were required to be transparent. That's the problem. Any of these companies who you partner with, they can do whatever they want. It says right in their terms, at any point we could terminate anything for any reason. You have no pro power over it. Yeah. Okay. New document. Look at this. Plan Snow White. Today's meeting will address the following topics. A solution for long-term storage of number six. A progress report on number seven. Disguising the laboratory's above-ground facility as a mansion. So it sounds to me like humanity was making two super weapons. Number six and number seven, right? <clears throat> Project number six. So this was some sort of weapons laboratory. What the hell was going on down here? What was I doing here? He's the super weapon. Emil is the super weapon. As to whether or not Emil will be able to continue. I, I'm fine. Let's just go. You want to wonder was was Kaine the other super weapon, right? It could be that him and Kaine were the two the two human super weapons. How do I get in there? There's a door from the other side. See that? Okay. Physical strength was 12%. Uh, excuse me. Magic drop I got. Look at all these assholes. Damn! Level 18! <laughs> okay then. La 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 la. Alright. Very good. Look at this. A tree. A tree in a cage. Yeah, look. It's like a children's playground. A tree in a cage, a bunch of slides and toys. Yeah. How much you want to bet Emil, Emil lived here when he was a kid? I just attacked him. <laughs> Hold on. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's spin a Rooney.
Ow. How am I missing? Oh, he's blocking. There we go. Magic defense plus 12. I got all these new words now. A ridiculous amount of new words. There's the key card, right? Oh, a new document. The donor body Halua has been chosen from among the seven candidate objects to proceed to the next stage. In the interest of protecting state secrets, all but one of the remaining subjects will be disposed of. The donor body email, however, will be kept in storage as a fail-safe measure. There you go. There you go, guys. You sure you're okay, Emil? I'm a weapon? What does that even mean? What am I? It appears he's trying to remember something. Hmm. You're gonna be fine. Am I? Your past makes no difference. We'll support you no matter what. At any rate, you would hardly be the first member of our merry band to have issues. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, so FYI, we're in the last 20 minutes of the stream again. Thank you so much for being a great audience, and if you could, if you would like to support the stream, help me hit my tips goal, which we have not hit today, uh, please do. Okay, I would appreciate that. Thank you very much, in advance. Pahil. There we go. And what about martial arts? Anything? Yes, what? Well, change them both. Nice. Save point means there's going to be a boss coming up. We should have time to do it. Look at that. Look at that. Boy, does this does not look like Nier Automata right now. <laughs> yeah. What do we got in here? Hello, Cutie Bootsy. How are you? Nice Jasper emo. Look at this. Oh my god, it's still alive. You see it's still twitching. to be humans normal humans hmm just a bunch of regular human kids like you'd see anywhere and then we came here they wanted to turn us into weapons so <clears throat> they used magic to perform terrible experiments on us eventually they succeeded they managed to create a perfect weapon. I wonder if this happened in previous the name games. Of that weapon was number six. But soon they lost control of number six, and the experiment was deemed a failure. They had to create a weapon that could petrify number six and seal it away. So they created me. I'm number seven. I'm. I'm a weapon. Weapon or no weapon, you're still a meal to us. Thank you. Hmm. It's crazy because that it's so evil looking, right? So they created that, so that they just used all kinds of technology to make a giant evil weapon. Huh. This is number six. She's 
My sister. Wow. This thing is alive. <laughs> oh, great. My sister is the greatest weapon ever made. And... Yes, go on. And with her power, I could eradicate my petrification curse. So what's the plan here? First, you have to promise me something. Hmm? If my sister somehow manages to swallow me up, my original self becomes lost. What the hell is going on here? I'm afraid I may try to hurt all of you. Oh my god. And if that happens... No, wait! Then I want you to kill me. Great. You have to get him out of there now. I'm on it. We're not gonna lose anyone else. Look at this fucking thing. Ow. Hurry. There's still time to save him. I know there is. Magic is the only way to damage this one. Oh. Stay your weapons. Such attacks will hurt Emil as well. How is magic any different? He is highly resistant to it. Then let's kill that thing with magic and get Emil out of there. Damn. Wait a minute. Isn't there... A magic that absorbs enemy magic? Gluttony. This thing's way too quick! The crazy boss. Here we go. Oh, it did work, but then it stopped working. Nice. Whoa, that was sweet. That was genuinely cool. Sweet your weapon. A physical blow would doubtless harm the boy. We must use magic to defeat this beast. Oh crap. Ow. Wow, I did tons of damage. Oh! We're coming for you. Almost got him. Come back to us. Oh, I missed. Shit. I had a feeling that Dark Gluttony would have a use. Okay, hold on. Maybe now I gotta hit him with like uh instead of dark hand, dark lance. I should have just used Dark Gluttony again. Nice! Knocked him down! Bullet hell. Oh! Still almost down. Almost dead. Tiny bit. I mean, one more hit. One more freaking hit. Right in his ass. Oh, it didn't work. Maybe there's a quick time for it or something. Oh, here we go. Oh, sucks. You can only hit him with magic, right? Crap, now he gets health back. I need to get my magic back. It takes forever. Damn it. 
still not enough. One more time. Pretty creepy boss fight. Fire! He's seriously still not dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, still not dead! <laughs> Finish him! Yes! Good fight. That's a cool boss. Damn. Right in the head! Ooh! Drill to the head. Very good. Emil. Emil. <laughs> Emil. So that's the real sister talking. Yeah. Halua. Halua and Emil. Emil, wake up. Halua, I. It's okay. It's over now. I will always over? be watching over you. Oh, I guess he finished her off. Since she was all mutated free. Thank you. Huh. Halua. Emil! Yeah. Sad music. Are you alright? I'm still alive. I feel my sister's power inside me. I think I can control my abilities now. Yes, we're all quite pleased. Now get out here already. <laughs> Just a second. I can't... I can't see very well. Uh-oh. Uh no, don't! Don't look at me! Emil, what's wrong? Stay back! What's going on? Oh! Oh my god, look. Good god. <laughs> he got mutated, just like she did. Wow. So he absorbed his sister's power and cured his petrification curse, but now he got mutated into this thing. Jesus. <clears throat> Come back, Emil. You've been through a lot. But my... My body... I can't stand to be with you when I look like this. Jeez. We're here for you. No matter what. Makes sense, because in Nier Automata, Emil looks like this. You... You look just like I thought you would. Oh, you can see now. You're not blind anymore. You look really cool. Right. Huh. He's a living skeleton with a fucking weird-ass head. Okay now. Weird, look at this. He floats. If this is how I look now, then so be it. I was terrified at first, but it's not all bad, you know? Huh. I have the magic I wanted, and I can use it to bring Kaine back to us. Emil. We should hurry. She's waiting. I sure hope seeing me doesn't petrify her. Mm. You know, in fear? 
I see this transformation has not stolen your terrible sense of humor. So weird. Why does he even look like that? Him and his sister, right? They both look the same. Why? If they were, if they were human and they were just made to be the ultimate weapon with magic, what the hell mutates their body to look like that? That's fucking weird. <laughs> That's really weird shit. Alright. Whenever I interacted with Kaine, I was reminded about something from my past. Maybe my mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time. Hmm. Anyway. Wait a minute. That's all well and good, but isn't this going to free the fucking monster that they sealed in the basement to begin with? Right? It's going to come back out. <laughs> I called it. The beast approaches. Oh, I know. I don't have time to fight this fucking thing. Shit. Been down there for five years. I doubt I'm gonna beat this in four minutes. Oh, I used Dark Gluttony by accident. How does it even survive these past five years? I'm not gonna let this happen again. It dies today. My sword is lighter. It's not the blade, but the skill of the user. Strike it down. There we go. There we go, maybe that's it. That's it. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Oro Turtle just to me $15 and I enjoyed the stream, Phil. Thank you, Oro Turtle, for all the support today, man. I appreciate that very much. We got up to 150 bucks. What the fuck? It's not what I typed. Crushed it of its life. Done. Very nice. <laughs> Very good. That was kind of interesting. You come back to it five years later and finally fight it. Alive. And beat it this time. Stay alive. Stay alive. Grandma. You gotta live! You gotta come back to us! Of course she will. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through all that for nothing. <sighs> la 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 la. <sighs> What the fuck is that freak? <laughs> Say it. Neil, you were the one calling me, weren't you? You still recognize me? Of course. I knew you right away. Thank you, Kaine. Welcome back, Kaine. <laughs> well. You grew up. So, how long has it been? Five years. He's way taller than her now. He had his, his growth spurt. His teenage and early 20s growth spurt. <laughs> Shit. 
That's a long time. Any luck with Yona? We are still no closer to finding her. We need a way to locate the Shadow Lord. By the way, this is for you. Is that a lunar tear? It's not as good as your grandmother's, but I tried. No, it's great. Thank you. All right. Kaimi waking from her long petrified sleep. Meals unflagging kindness. La la. Our reunion was a happy one, and we let it wash over us like rain. That is, until Devila and Popola had to go and ruin it all. Oh, come on! Well, I don't have time for this. So I hope they let me save, because I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You can't be serious! Please, try to understand. People are tired and scared, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to bear the brunt of that. This is crap, and you know it! It's okay. We can sleep outside. No one's sleeping outside. You and Kaine saved this village. And now they want to run you out? Really? People are afraid of us. And really, I understand. I mean, look at me. As long as you're still with us, I can deal with it. Right, Kaine? I'm used to sleeping outside. But... We'll see you later. Sorry about this. Huh. Throwing them out, that's kind of fucked up. Especially after they fought to save everyone. <clears throat> what is the matter? Kaine always sleeps outside. I never thought about that until just now. Never even occurred to me. Damn it. We should turn in. Alright. We're gonna have an opportunity to save, hopefully. I hope. I hope. I didn't get much sleep that night. Come on! Let me save! For the first time in my life, I hated Devil. For the first time in my life, I doubted Popola. But those feelings are pointless in the end. They said <laughs> did what they did for the sake of the village. Uh. Yes? To protect it from the horror of the shades. <laughs> really, how can I blame Devil and Popola? In the end, I'm just as bad. Because I never once stopped to think about Kaine and Emil's situation myself. Death confirmation, 3 one Body, 99.99% likely to be that of a red eye. Dead of red eye confirmed. What does that mean? Sleep well? Sure. And yet your red <laughs> eyes tell a different tale. Red eye! Don't be so hard on yourself, lad. I need to go see Devila and Popola. Very well. Release! You freed Kaine from her petrification. Oh, shit. Nothing up there. Okay. Now we can go save. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, that was a really good stream. We got a ton of progress in the game. We're in a totally new part of the game. New abilities, tons of new words, leveling of new weapons, right? The story advanced in a huge way, multiple boss fights. Like, seriously, that was a good session. That was a good one. Next time around, I'm actually looking forward. Tomorrow is my, my final uh, <clears throat> consecutive stream of this game. After that, we're going to take a little bit of a break from it to play other new releases. But I'm excited to see what happens tomorrow now that we're in this, this kind of almost seems like a second half of the game now. Things have picked up in a big way. Now we see now why email looks like he does in uh, in Ear Automata. You know, he's referenced in Ear Automata and, uh, you know, now we know what's going on with him, at least, right? So, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everyone who supported. Didn't hit the tips goal, but we got close. So that's pretty good. Thank you, everyone. Um for a chill stream. It was a good one. That was a good session. I'm actually very much looking forward to tomorrow's as well. All right? Until then, peace out.